gets another one. He's got 25. They are taking it all the way down. Last four or five possessions, he's been shot with one on the shot clock each time. Rebound through Timmy. Malachi Smith the tip. I was just going to say, Greg, what a play from Smith. Timmy with 14 in the second half after that putback. If you're Gonzaga, you got to get the ball out of Shelton's hands. Leo Pepe back to Shelton, 10 on the shot clock. Can't Again. let him get it back there in that situation. Sansa off the set the screen. Shelton deep, but he can shoot it. He's going to step back. There it is. Air ball. Gonzaga ball. Down by five. 2.05 to go, but LMU so shortening this game right now. Exactly right. I mean, they didn't get a bucket there, but they took 30 seconds off the clock. Gonzaga doesn't have to be in a huge hurry, but you've got to be careful not to run it down too much. There's a screen by Timmy Hickman. Open three. <laughs> consecutive games on this floor. LMU has not won in Spokane since 1991. Leia Pepe handoff to Arms. And now Anderson trying to get it to Shelton. He's got it. The drive on Malachi Smith. Craig Smith. Great game. to get it out of there. Anton Watson. He'll flush it. Tied in 66. possession but you also create a passive mindset if you're not being aggressive only cam shelton was aggressive at the yeah, end of all the shot you, you certainly you've got one guy with the ball and everybody else kind of watching but you know, i understand wanting to limit the possessions here late for lmu anderson's in trouble is that five timeout timeout called by the lions bench leia pepe will be inbounding it Here's Shelton. Got 25 points. Six on the shot clock. Got to get by Malachi Smith. Here's a shot. Blocked by Timmy, grabbed by Strother. Under a minute to go. Gonzaga basketball tied at 66. You got to go early enough, in my estimation, with the way the shot clock and game clock are. Here's Drew Timmy. Against the Sons. A shot up. It falls off, but Drew will shoot free throws. And that is it for Rick Asanzo. His fifth personal foul will send him to the bench. Good managing of the clock from Nolan Hickman as the point guard. Get into that high pick and roll where you're going to short roll pocket pass to Timmy. You get the foul call with 43 seconds. So now you should have an extra possession depending on outcome of the free throws and LMU on the other end. There are no timeouts remaining for Loyola Marymount. And checking back in is Michael Graham. Isanza's a great rim defender. Graham might be a better offensive rebounder, he's at least in this game. Yeah, well, he's had five offensive rebounds tonight. He averages around two offensive rebounds per game as it is. Timmy, six of ten from the free throw line tonight. Came in a 61% shooter. Long on the first. LMU, you've got to box out here. If he misses it, you need to secure the rebound. Short, but roll. It's good. Zags up by one. No timeouts here for LMU either. It's go time for the Lions. Shelton wanting help. Here comes Graham. Down to 20 on the shot clock. Cameron Shelton. He's got Drew Timmy in front of him. He's down to 10 on the shot clock. Shelton. He's going to shoot it. 
five. He'll drive on Timmy. Got in. Off the glass, and it goes. What a bucket for Shelton. 14.7 to go. Strother in a timeout called. Mark Few, loyal to Marymount, up by one, 68. 66. On the season. 11.1 seconds to go. Nolan Hickman with the basketball. Shelton there defensively. Timmy I think to set the screen. Big screen. Drew Timmy down the lane. Shot up. Blocked by Graham. He's got it. They run it down in the corner. Strother's free is short. And LMU has come on the road and defeated Gonzaga for the first time since 1991. That's off to LMU. Stan Johnson had the Lions ready to play. Cam Shelton came out and performed a masterful, masterful performance. 27 points. A tremendous defensive stop there from Loyal Marymount. Well, I have to admit, not expecting this tonight. And look, give the credit to the Loyal Marymount Lions. They always.